Now this is what F for Euro is supposed to look like. <laughs> oh doom. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're making F for Riro, which is spinach that they make in Nigeria. Hope you guys enjoy. Here we have our shaki. This is already boiled. I boiled this with a pressure pot because it takes a quite a bit to cook. Here we have aero aka beef. You can just cook it the way you normally cook or boil your beef. That should be fine. Here I have chopped my atarodo, tatashe and alubosa. <laughs> so that's onions, red bell peppers and habanero. Put everything in your blender and then blend everything nicely to a paste. If it's too thick, you're more than welcome to put in just a little bit of water just to make sure that everything blends together. So I'm choosing spinach. I'm just removing the rib in the middle, roll everything up and then slice it first into long slices. Then give everything a nice chop. I find that this makes my spinach a little bit more consistent than the other ways I cut it. Now that I've showed you how I cut my spinach, I'm just going to carry on and cut the rest of it and then keep it in a bowl set aside. So I was going to try and pronounce this in Yoruba, but it was a dismal fail. So this is your red palm oil, just going to make it get hot on medium heat. And then once it starts kind of smoking, you add in your paste. So you're going to let this paste cook. This process takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but just keep an eye depending on the heat that you're using. So as you can see, the oil is kind of starting to separate from the rest of your paste. This is an indication that your tomato is starting to cook. Give everything a nice stir just to make sure that everything cooks nice and even and nothing gets burnt to the bottom. At this stage, you can now add about a teaspoon of garlic. If you're not a fan of garlic, you're more than welcome to skip this stage. You're going to add salt to your paste. I usually do this in sections just to make sure that I don't have too much. So I'll put a little bit of salt in the beginning, then add my ingredients. And then towards the end, I'm going to put more salt. So now I'm putting about one teaspoon of salt. For my seasoning, I'm using the knorr cubes. I'm using two of the cubes. This is in the beef flavor. So I'm just going to kind of like crush that in there. And then I didn't manage to crush everything with my hands. But I'm just going to put it in the sauce and then I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. It tends to become salted. Then I'll crush the rest of it in there and then it will eventually dissolve. Now I can see that the oil is starting to separate from the paste. I'm going to put in my spinach. Remember to wash and strain your spinach. You don't want to get a whole lot of water in there. Give everything a nice mix. Make sure that you kind of mix the sauce with the spinach. Because if you leave it as it is, your sauce will start to burn and your spinach will not cook. So here I have some dried crayfish. This is what it looks like. I'm going to add about two to three teaspoons of crayfish. This really gives the sauce a very nice taste. If you're not big on fish, you can leave this out. But yeah, your FO Rero will be bomb if you add this in. My husband loves this a lot, so I made sure I put enough. I can see that my spinach is starting to cook. It's starting to look a little bit on the soggy side. So just give everything a nice mix so that everything can cook nicely together. But remember, you don't want to overcook your spinach as well. So this is totally up to you. You can put your mushrooms before the spinach or after. So I like my mushrooms not overcooked or anything like that. So I'm putting them now after the spinach so i'm just going to give everything a nice stir and then let cook for about four minutes i 
Now that my vegetables look as if they're done, I'm going to now introduce the protein. Remember, the protein was already cooked. So this is fully cooked meat. So I'm going to add this now to my sauce when everything is almost done. The reason I'm putting this at the end is because I don't want to overcook my meat. I don't want to cook it further than what it's already cooked. So I'm just going to add that in there. This is now my shaki. Now I'm going to add in my beef, same process, add in, mix everything, add in, mix everything. So to prevent your sauce from burning, you can add about a quarter cup of water. Just to make sure that your flavors and everything cooks nicely with the meat. The meat will kind of absorb the taste of the effort already. This process takes about 5 minutes. Do not cook further than that because then your vegetables will get overcooked. So now I'm going to taste my food. I'm going to taste for salt. Remember in the beginning I said I prefer to put in less salt in the beginning and then only add more salt later on when my food is already cooked. Please guys, remember it's always better to have less salt than more salt. Unless if anybody knows how to take out salt from ready cooked food, please I would like to know. Leave me a message on the comments. I promise you I will holler at you. So here we have it guys, this is my Eforiro, you can have this served with Eba, you can have this served with Fufu, we had it with Amala. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share with a friend, please come back, please leave a comment. Thank you guys for joining me on my channel. Bye!